almost forgot to turn the mic on. Good. Uh, it's actually afternoon, and this is the first time I'm talking into the camera today. It's been a busy morning and uh, an interesting week because typically we have three more employees uh, usually here. I have Steve, who has left my furniture company. Super awesome, great opportunity. Him and his wife have moved out west into Western Canada and to a beautiful part of Western Canada also. So good on Steve. People like to move on, but I'm left here without uh, employees. Uh, Justin, my number two guy in my furniture company, he is uh, out for jury selection today, so I also don't have him. And kind of sad news, um, actually pretty very much sad news, Mitch from Legacy Lumber has also moved on to another job opportunity. So that's it, so I'm down actually three employees today, but two employees ongoing. So that's why my man Rob from the unit came by to help out. He's gonna hop in here. Come on, Rob. Come Hi, on over. <laughs> so I'm filling in for three employees. Is that's that right. What's happening? We're gonna ask him to right. work about 30 hours per day. No problem. We'll see how no he can problem. do that. You know, I'm gonna grow a couple arms, take over Mitch's sign, take over Steve's woodworking. It's perfect. He's so far back. You look like the guy on Beetlejuice with the little head. There we go. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> nice. So it has been a busy morning. I had a truck show up that we dried a bunch of lumber for a client. We had to load that truck up, which was me doing that. And then uh, I had a few other clients drop by talking about some furniture, talking about some wood. And now actually we're gonna go walk around the yard. I haven't met Rob before. He runs our factory outlet location in Mississauga, which is, uh, you know, to the rafters full of wood, um, epoxy, table legs, adhesives, and hardware, our C channel, as well as our uh, threaded inserts and the bolts. So he, he's generally down there running that, doing a fantastic job. So if you order anything online, it goes through him, yeah. he'll pack it up and ship it out. Or if you visit the Mississauga location, Rob's the guy that will, will, will uh, take care of you. So he's been uh, kind of been on my ass, I guess, a little for bit, yeah. lack of a better term, about uh, just understanding what logs we have up here and, and the lumber that we have up here. So when you guys come in, interested in a certain piece that we don't have, he knows, uh, knows what we have and knows what we have to offer. So we're actually gonna go for a little tour around the yard, check out some logs, check out some lumber. Let's go. We'll check that out. So we came up to the workshop. We're gonna pull out a bunch of wood out of the racks, have a look at it. Um, we have a actually customer, client, I guess we can call them. Polymere Technology is gonna be testing some, uh, some tweaked product. So they're looking for a three inch thick walnut slab and we're gonna try and deliver for them. So let's have a look around what's going on in the shop. It's actually a quiet day because nobody's really here. So uh, I did have my epoxy workshop over the weekend. I'll give you a glimpse into some of the pieces that uh, were poured and they're gonna come back next week and get them finished. We will have a really detailed video on the day. I just don't know when that will get edited together. So give a thumbs up, uh, comment below actually. Let Sebastian know you wanna see how all these were poured. So I don't know if you uh, have been paying attention, but I'm usually crouched down or on my knees or whatever short. I don't have a proper tripod, but I got a Gobi one, which is gonna be awesome. The camera's gonna be up a bit higher. Check this out. Samples for a client. We're doing a 13 foot long river table. Got one, whoa. Almost dropped the camera there, sorry guys. Okay, here we go, check it out. Two samples, these are about uh, close to three inches thick. The table's gonna be about two and a half and we're gonna get these sanded up and get a finish on them and mailed off to the client. The client wants clear. You can see these are nice and clear, uh, but they do want a bit of cloudiness to it. So that's achievable by what you, what you sand the epoxy back to and uh, also what finish you use. So we're gonna give them a, a few different options, get the samples mailed out to our clients and we're gonna get the okay to uh, keep on going with the big slabs. So we're gonna give JD from Polymer Technology a little Instagram video chat. Let's see. All right, we're contacting Polymer Technology. Let's see if he's gonna answer. Maybe he's in a big, uh, big important two business meeting. Oh, two times in a day. Here he is, JD, have a look. You're on camera. Hey, what's up guys? Hey, <laughs> this, is, look. this is cool, eh? 
Yeah, this yeah, is, that, is that a new camera you guys have? Lines? That's fine. Um, that's where we do all the, I don't know if you've seen the YouTube vlogs that we've been doing. Yeah. So that's the camera, yeah, Panasonic GH5. We've got a wide angle uh, lens on it. Yeah, it's uh, it can record in 4K. Wow. So check it out. We got this slab, spalted maple. Yeah. See, it's got all real cool spalting in it. So this is yeah, uh, it's just over three inches thick. I don't know why it's not focusing. What's, what's, uh, the width. What's the width? So the widest is uh, 25. Yeah, that's an amazing with, with the live edge, it's uh, 30, 31, 32. Okay, sounds good. Fantastic. So, do you know what, uh, what time are you expecting to uh, post the, the giveaway? Um, we're just about to post it, actually. You, oh, you know what happened? I got kicked out of my Legacy Lumber Instagram on my phone, and I can't remember the password. <laughs> That's why I haven't posted. <laughs> so, yeah, I, um... We're gonna deal with that right now, actually. We'll get it on there. Okay. Well, okay. Just, just text me once you post it, so I can I, I can post right away as well. Just, yeah. Just let me know. Perfect. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> See ya. We have a 14-inch uh, sized glass gate in our shop. It goes to the molder. It's right up here. I have to scale my woodworking machinery and close it. Look at that bad boy. So that goes to the molder, and then now we can open up all the dust gate. Three and three and a quarter inch thick slab right here. We're gonna be running it through our jointer planer right here. And I'm gonna take you through the entire process from start to finish. We've already measured it. It's an inch and a quarter thick. I'm gonna come over here. Um, I do do a lot of walking in the shop. Check it out right here. We have our on and off for our dust switch. Turn that on. My dust collection, which is this big giant pipe that flows outside to a big giant uh, 20 horsepower dust collector out there. Kicking on, so we got about 5,000 CFM turning on right now. Gonna be controlling all the dust created by this beast. I'm gonna have Rob climb under here, this side, and adjust the jointer bed. We want the jointer bed to be about five millimeters is what we wanna set it to, so he's gonna set that now. So here's our gauge on the side. Cool. And now we're going to turn on the machine. So check this out here. That's okay, I got this. Doing a point of view style. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about me. <laughs> it's all about me, guys and gals. So check it out. Main power on. Gotta turn that though if it's on. Main power on. So we're set to one inch right now. I'm gonna set this to three inches total thickness. That's what our customer wants. Three, so I'm gonna hit this little button. We're gonna hit three, hit the start button. It's gonna automatically adjust the top here and uh, go up. So here it is adjusting. Not very exciting at all. We have two motors, 30 horsepower, 30 horsepower, and this is the feed belt that actually pulls the wood through the machine. I turn one on at a time. There's the first mortar. I apologize, I don't know how loud the machine's gonna be over my talking. I'm gonna turn the second motor on after this pops up. Just popped up. Second motor turns on. And also, I don't turn this on until this pops up. See that little pop up? Now we're gonna turn our feed motor on. So now the belt is actually pulling through.
So that's the over-under joint or planer that we have in its finest hour. Cleaned up a nice spalted maple slab, single pass, did the bottom side, top side. Uh, just a little bit of rough wood showing here on the top side, which is fine. This is gonna be an epoxy pour done by the, the great team over there at Polymer Technology with the chill epoxy. I think they're testing some top secret stuff. So we're gonna be getting this, uh, actually Rob, Rob will be getting this slab freighted off to them uh, probably tomorrow. Let's go around the yard, look at some logs, walk through some mud. So we have a big surprise for everyone. It's already gonna be announced by the time you see this vlog, but we are celebrating 30,000 subscribers here on YouTube. Super pumped with that. So on Instagram, and we're gonna include you YouTube subscribers, thanks very much, in a 30 liter epoxy giveaway from Chill Epoxy made by Polymer Technology. Head on over to my Instagram, Instagram, at Canadian Woodworks. And I just posted, um, probably yesterday, uh, the giveaway. It's gonna be a two week long process. You will have extra chances to enter. So stay tuned here on YouTube as well as Instagram. Good luck. All right, so it's an overcast day here. It's very muddy, very wet. You can see around me, very muddy and wet. And we have wood absolutely everywhere. Log, big burly willow, check out this walnut. Stack of some shorts cut up there. Bunch of five quarter walnut here. All sorts of stuff everywhere. And let's continue our little walk around. Right here, beautiful, beautiful uh, Greek olive wood. It was a log that came through with a bunch of logs that we had and we saw milled it. And this will be going into the kiln shortly. So here we are at the far side of the property. Logs all the way down this road here. And then uh, behind me again, you can see all there. So these are all locally salvaged logs uh, from tree service companies that they're already being cut down in backyards. They've either lived their, lived their life. So Rob right here is unearthing. That's a 200 year old white oak. I'm sorry, oh, I'm taking the. So that's 200 years old and uh, you know, this is from a tree service company that knows that we buy, buy the logs so they keep them in their yard and eventually we get them. So it's pretty awesome to be able to be converting these from a, a really a waste product into, into something beautiful. God damn it. Burls. Got burls. Burls? I think that's what they're called. Burrs. Burrs, got burrs. Okay, we're now, um, I guess the corner of my property. And we have logs yep. upon logs. Okay. I have a friend that does firewood and the way he does his firewood is he buys bins of wood that have been cut down in the city. 40 yard bin comes from his house and whatever comes out of it is his. Uh, one of the bins had huge white oak and this is one of the only ones left. There's another big piece. Look how long this is, we're walking by it. This here is another chunk of white oak. Just, just massive, huge things. And uh, he did not want to cut these up in the firewood. He knew what we, what we do with the saw milling and the drying and the lumber and the furniture and all the fantastic stuff. So he gave me a call and uh, we went over, checked them out, giant logs, we picked them up and here is one of the last ones left from that load. And what would a daily vlog be without loading the wood boiler? So let's throw in a couple sticks right now. So 
that's it. See you guys later. Had a great walk with Paul today. We Checking have out all the lumber that's going to get milled very soon and down to the store. Be slicing and dicing. That's it, man. All right, Rob, as usual. Bye. Thank you very much. Have, have a good. great day.